So Microsoft Class Teams was released over the weekend. So we're going to take a look at that in this demo and compare it to the functionality that we had inside Microsoft Classroom and also compare it to some of the other features we've got inside Office 365 and just get a bit of a feel for you know, what you can use it for inside your classrooms. So previously we had Microsoft Classroom. That's no longer available. Um, that's going end of life next month. And that was only in preview anyway, but it gave us a good taste of uh, you know some of the features that we could expect inside Microsoft Teams. So the Teams tile, this is where you go to get to those new class teams. So I've got a couple set up already, um, but what we'll do is we'll just go through creating one from scratch. Now, if you're using School Data Sync, you can create these classes and populate them with all your students automatically um, using uh, information from your MIS system, such as SIMS or CMS, ISAMS. So you'll be able to uh, connect those up using the spreadsheets that and the, the guides that Microsoft create. There's also some other tools out there which will sync it automatically, like the Salamander tool. Um, and uh, we'll go through and discuss that a bit later on. So on the team site, I've got a few classes that I've already created here, but I'll just go through how you create a, a new class from scratch if you wanted to have a play with this and just create one manually. So at the bottom left, we've got add team. And if I click on this, I can create a new team and it then gives me the option of creating a class, a PLC, a staff, or just a standard uh, team area. So I'm just going to create uh, the class one for students and teachers in this session. And I'm going to call this 11MA3. So this is my maths class, press next. So this is going to create the team and it's going to give, the, give us the option to add students and teachers to that class team. So I'm going to add a couple of students to this as a test. So I'm going to add those students and then I'm going to add some teachers. I'm just going to add a teacher. So you can see that when you're adding these people um, to, the, to the team, they get added either as an owner if they're a teacher or as a member if they're a student. So when that's done, that will then generate it. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at one that I've already created earlier because this will take a bit of a while to initialize. Um, so I'm going to go up to this one here, 9x uh, English 1. So when you come to the, the first uh, tab, the first section called General, you get a number of tabs that are created automatically for you. Now some of these tabs are created automatically um, with any team that you create, such as conversations and files. So conversations is a great way to um, discuss in a group, collaborate together in a joint conversation area. So you can mention people in here if you wanted to. I can mention Ben in here. In here. Have you done your homework? And he will then get a notification on his phone if he's got the team apps installed that has been has been mentioned in a uh, conversation. And they can come in here and they can reply. You can add in stickers. You can arrange video calls via Skype. So again, it's you know it's a great landing page, great collaboration area for all the all the students and staff to work in. So under the files tab, this is a SharePoint document library for this class. So this isn't ideal if you want to store loads of subject resources because this is just for this one individual class. You're still probably going to want to use SharePoint for your subject resource areas. But for light collaboration, if you've got a worksheet for this one class to do, then you can put it inside this library and they can access it over the in the Teams area. And the next tab along is Class Notebook. So this is what we had inside Microsoft Classroom and also the Class Notebook standalone app. You get a class notebook created for you automatically. There's a, t there's a section for each student and they can only see their own section or the teacher can see everybody's area. And there's also collaboration areas in there and areas for the teachers to um, send out pages to each student and collect them in and mark them, review assignments. Um, we also had the immersive reader options in there and some really great learning tools inside the class notebook. Now the problem I've seen with this at the moment is inside the Teams preview online, I can't see the uh, different sections for the students. If I open, up, open it up in the desktop app, I can see those different sections. Um, but if I want the full functionality of it, uh, the way I've found so far how to get to that is if you open it up in SharePoint. So this opens up the SharePoint site behind it. And then if we click on the notebook tab here, 
that will then give us the full functionality that we're used to inside Microsoft Classroom and inside Class Notebook. So here I can see all the tabs have been created automatically uh, from my MIS data for each student and each student can have their own section. I've got the class notebook tools so I can distribute sections and pages and review student work, which we've talk talked about in, in uh, other demos we've done. And uh, you've also got the immersive reader uh, functionality here, which is uh, fantastic if you wanted to um, read the content on that page. And you can also, um, lots of exciting tools in here that you've got so you can uh, emphasize syllables, nouns, verbs, um, all those teacher and learning tools. Unfortunately, like say in the, in the view inside Teams, we don't get the, that functionality available. We just get the very basic um, class notebook uh, functionality here and we don't get the different sections for different students. Hopefully that's going to improve. Um, we just need to make sure that everybody um, mentions this to Microsoft and hopefully they're going to um, implement that in the future. So the other tab across the top is assignments, and this is what we had previously in the Microsoft Classroom preview. So this is an area where you can set assignments for your group, and then you can you can uh, take in their work, and you can mark it, and you can send it back to them. So we've got an improved interface um, from what we had inside Microsoft Classroom. We've got this calendar view, and you can see what homework is due in which day. Um, and if I go to create a new assignment, it's very similar to what we had previously. Uh, write an essay on my assignment and I can add to some instructions and um, so I can attach reference materials and this is materials that the student can read but they can't edit themselves or I can specify what students need to hand in and if I click on that this is things like worksheets things that they're going to fill in and return to me so when I click on that, it pops up with OneDrive, or I can upload it from my computer. Hopefully they're going to add in SharePoint and a few other things here as well. Um, so I can choose uh, one of my worksheets. That will then attach it to the assignment uh, for the students to be able to hand that back into me. So I can set a due date. I'm going to set this for, um, go to Tuesday next week and I'm going to go 1 to 10 by 3 o'clock that day. So I can allow late hand in, so people can hand it in after that due date. Um, and I can also mark that work if I want to with a number of points. So I'm going to turn that on, I'm going to mark it out of 100. So I can save as a draft, which I couldn't do previously in, inside Microsoft Classroom. And when you're ready to assign that to the group, you press assign, and that sends it out to those students. So the students will then see this in their, their view here. So I can see that inside um, my calendar view for assignments. There's also down the left hand side here, there's a assignment section and this aggregates all your assignments together in one view. So you'll see all your assignments across all your different teams, your class teams inside here, and you'll see them inside the calendar view. So just going back to that assignment that I set, as a teacher, I can then review the work that has been uh, submitted back to me. So I can see all the student work that's, that's here. I can also give them some feedback by pressing on this, the, uh, the speech bubble. I can see the date they handed, handed the work back to me. I can also give them a mark and post that mark back to them. So quite a nice assignment system, very similar to what we had in Microsoft Classroom uh, preview. Um, the only, again, the only downside I can see to this at the moment is the, um, the Android and the Apple iOS apps, they don't, um, include the assignment functionality in them. So you don't get an alert when you get a new assignment. You can't see your assignments inside the app. So previously with the Microsoft Classroom app, you could see assignments. Students had a notification when a new assignment was, uh, was released for them. They also got a notification if the teacher gave them a comment or a mark or returned their way back to them. So hopefully that will come inside the Teams app or maybe there'll be a separate assignments app that Microsoft will release, but we, we really need that to engage students and give them um, accessibility across different devices. So hopefully that will come um, you know, in, in the next few months. So that's a quick overview of uh, Microsoft Teams for Education. Um, It'd be great to hear your feedback and, and get your ideas on it. Um, it's a great starting point, great for collaboration, working together in those groups. Um, and hopefully the assignment section in Class Notebook will improve and get to the same standard we had inside the Microsoft Classroom preview. 
Um, so thanks for your time today. And uh, if you need any help with this, you know, we offer support contracts to help you out with school data sync, uh, with Microsoft SharePoint and creating your sites, and also just general assistance and training for teachers. So please feel free to check out our website at www.cloudesignbox.co.uk.